another episode of Dr. CyberLogic, and this is... Who are Emma! You? And who's this? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what what's his name? Larry! Alright, Chef Larry. Hello, my name is Chef Larry! Today's video is going to be on turning this beauty here into an emulation machine. We're going to get it to play PlayStation games. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? Good. Would you like to do the honors of opening it up for me? Oh, yeah, that would be cool, everybody. All right. You ready? Yeah. Pull, pull this here. Oh, my gosh. And this side. Okay. Right here. Oh. All right. And right here. Okay. Very good. <laughs> now open it. This way. This, this side. Pull up. Oh, wow, God. If you have the, the Xbox Series X, you can buy it from Amazon. And a lot of other places. But this is my first time actually seeing a Series X, or Series S, <laughs> and this thing is small. Yeah. It's better than the PlayStation. Yeah, they're both good. Yeah. I like them both. But let's get started with this. So now we're going to turn this into an emulation machine. Say thank you. Thank you. All right. Say bye. Bye. I hope you, you'll see my daddy soon. Have a good time. And I wish <laughs> Santa <laughs> right. will come see. All right, now that we got our new Xbox all set up, what we're gonna do is come over here to the store and we're gonna go to search and we're gonna search for the dev mode. So that's gonna be this one right here. And what you're gonna do is after you install it, launch the app, and I already have mine activated, but if you go in here, it's gonna give you digits and a website to go to. Go to that website and you need to set up your dev account with Xbox. Once you set up your dev account, it costs $19 and then you can create games or be able to install sideload applications, which is what we need it for. So once you get this set up, you can change your Xbox host name under settings. You can even launch settings. It takes you to your general settings for the Xbox. When I did enter developer mode, I wasn't on the network, so I do recommend you seeing if you're on your Wi-Fi network, if you're accessing it through Wi-Fi. And then it tells you if your Xbox Live is working. Now, once you're up and running on your network, what you can do is add your account to your test accounts. Obviously, I'm not using my real Xbox account because just... I'm just not. <laughs> but now you can go and install a game. In order to install a game, you're going to have to remotely access the Xbox from a web browser. Okay, so now we're going to remote access for the Xbox from the browser. So go down to remote access. Make sure enable Xbox device portal is checked and set up a username and password that way no one else on your network can get into your profile into your device portal okay guys welcome um now first what we're going to need to do is get a copy of retroarch what you're going to do is go to retroarch.com download and then select the one for the xbox one so once you download that package then you can access your Xbox developer portal like I suggested or told you and then go to add here under home so you're gonna click home this is going to pop up so just drag and drop that retro arc file that I had you download into the into here and hit next now it's going to start installing the package okay now that we're back into the Xbox what we're gonna do is we're going to run RetroArch. As you can see now, it's showing up under games and apps. So let's go ahead and run that. So 
so as you can tell it uses like the old PlayStation 3 type uh, menu so what we're gonna do is we can go to online updater and let's just go through and update all the files okay so I ran into a little issue before with Chrome and Edge the uh, Xbox device portal doesn't work too well with uploading which is kinda strange since Microsoft makes Edge but I downloaded it Firefox and it seems to be working properly now so to add a ROM go to file explorer local app data retro arc local state and then find downloads now make sure you own the actual game before you upload it because I'm going to be updating uploading these games and as you can tell I own all three so don't upload a game unless you own it or else that will be illegal so what we're going to do is go to browse and let's update earthbound upload earthbound and as you can tell it got added in there then you can if you want to add more just go to the bottom and you can add other games as well and if you want to add your bios what you need to go to is down here to system and you're going to browse for the BIOS. I don't know if it will let me do a zip file, but let's find out. Actually, let's do this. Trash that and browse, upload. Now, once you're back into RetroArch, you can go down to load core and whatever system you want to use let's use SN SNEX 9X and I'll select the newest version and then load content and I can go to downloads and you'll see the games I just uploaded so let's go to earthbound and select the current core that we have activated and Let's see if this works. There we go. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And comments below if you like my dad and and.